You ever seen this? Weeds coming up and cracks around pavers, around your masonry work. I mean, I've got them all over the place. Take a look. Every variety you can think of, and they grow and grow, and you can't get rid of them. Then one day, I was looking online, and I saw this. It says it's an electric thermal weeder, and I thought, wait a minute, when I look closely, that's just a heat gun attached to a handle. And I have one of these Harbor Freight heat guns, and it's a whole lot cheaper than that thermal burner. And I thought maybe I can just make something on my own. Well, here we go today. I have a couple of Almond Joy to keep me going. I have a piece of uh, half inch plywood that's left over from a cupboard and uh, what I'm going to try and do is make something that I saw online that they were selling for quite a bit and just um, repurpose this uh, hot gun that comes from Harbor Freight and see if I can make it into something that will kill weeds from all over the place. So if you want to join me, come along. Well, I'm just going to take this piece of half-inch plywood that I have salvaged from a cabinet and I'm going to put a handle about right here. That's good for my height. So I'll just grab a pencil and strike a line across the board. That's about where I want to cut it. And then I'm going to kind of roughly make the handle that I want to end up with. And I'll just lay the cord on the top where I want it to go. I'll be zip tying it there later. And then I'm going to take and make that handle and I'm just going to sketch it in roughly. And you can see it's just a handle grip like you would have on a pistol. And I'm coming down and I'm going to curve right here a little bit in. The first time I was going to make a second handle to hold on to right there, but I found later it wasn't necessary. Once I get down to my gun, I'll trace around the gun itself and then make a silhouette of the gun. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut the board to length. I love using these hold fast. They keep the wood right where I want it and I'm using a square to kind of guide me through with my jigsaw. Now this jigsaw could have done the whole job but I love using a bandsaw so now I'm going to take you over this is my bandsaw. I speeded up the speed to about four times so you don't have to watch me slowly follow the line. And I'm going along just making gentle motions so I don't have to do any filing away of little exaggerations. And I'm tracing along that handle that I drew out earlier. So I'm pulling it around here and getting the silhouette of the heat gun down here at the end. Now there you see it's all done. I'm going to notch away this little section where the handle is. Notice I've left a little bump there and that was supposed to be a second handle and later I found that wasn't necessary. Now I'm going to take it over to my belt sander. I could have used a file for this but since I have the belt sander I might as well use it and I'm just going to take this sweeping motion and round out the edge so when I grip this handle it won't have sh sharp edges to grab onto. Now after I've done this and made sure that there's no splinters and it's real comfortable to hold, I'm going to take it and drill some holes to hold that heat gun down. Now my idea is, is I'm going to make a hole on each side of places where I want to put zip ties now, when I do this, I can go ahead and drill them through with a hole that's big enough to easily slide the grip type really nicely through. So you can see I'm going to put holes in all those places. I'll go over to my drill press now, and this is going to be the best I can do. I have a piece of scrap wood underneath, 5 16th inch hole, and I'm going through and the problem I have is this is vinyl coated on the top with actual piece of melted vinyl on it. So it's going to look rather ragged when I get done. 
but that's not a real issue because I can come back with a little piece of sandpaper and smooth it off. Now, I'm not real concerned about how pretty this is. It's a functional device. I want to burn up my weeds. I don't care if it's going to win any prizes. So now I take the zip tie and you can see I loop it around going through both holes and then I zip it on the back side. So I'll put all the um, kind of the notch side of the zip on the back side. And I'll go ahead and put one of these zip ties all the way around the heat gun. And you can see in a moment, it's going to be held super tight. And if I don't want to have it there and I want to use the heat gun again, I can just nip it off with a wire cutter. Well, here's what we end up with. It's not beautiful, but you can see it's very usable. I just take it and set it down. And when I set it down, I rest it for about 10 seconds on each weed. Now, when I do this, I've been hitting the bottom of the weed because if you kill it there, it doesn't have any vascular system to move anything up to the top, so it's dead. Now let's look at those pavers again and watch the color change on this little plant. It's just getting fried by the heat from this heat gun. It only took me about 15 minutes to go between all the pavers where I had plants. And I think not only did it kill the plant, but the seed bearing roots. Thank you for watching.